Hello, today I will show you how to use the photography kit. Uh, right now we have a full kit of uh, Nikon here and I will show you step by step how to assemble everything together. So here we have the full kit. We have here Molaris, we have Polaris filter, we have the mini soft boxes and of course we have the Mike twin flash. So first I will start with uh, opening the uh, Molaris. So you will see exactly how to assemble it on the camera body. So everyone should have um, a camera and a lens first of all, like a macro one. I'm recommending you to go for a Tokina 100 millimeter macro lens. And this is the one I've been using for the last six years for all my photos. And for the body, I can recommend you an Icon D750. Here we have it. first step. Okay. And this is how it's looking inside. You have the connectors for Canon and for Nikon. So no matter what camera you have, you can use the both systems. Molaris comes already assembled. So all you need is just to attach it to your camera using this screw and placing it in this hole over here. So basically, that's the first step. Now you see the design is made in this way that no matter what happens, the camera is extremely stable. So you cannot drop it down. Now, the next step would be to open the Mike Twin Flash. You will see it soon. So here we have our Mike Twin Flash. As you can see, it also has some universal adapters, which by the way, you can use also for Molaris, for Nikon, and the one for Canon has for Canon. So just in case you lose those, you will have extra spare parts for this. You have some mini diffusers, which I don't really use that much, but if you want to diffuse the light, it's a good option, a fast option. Uh, of course, some manuals that nobody never reads, so that's why I have to make this tutorial. And then we have the um, rings, the one that comes on the lens, and that one should be usually 55 for Tokina, 58 is for Canon, so you have here 52, 72, 67, 77, one more time, 52, and 55. The 55 is the one for Tokina. Here you see it has these two clamps, and all you have to do is just to place it inside and release them. In that way, it stays very good here, and then you can screw it on the lens this way. Yeah, but we are not going to use it yet. The ring can stay there. This one, we need it. Then we have the right flash, the left flash, doesn't matter which order because they are the same. And we have the controller. So from this box, this is all you will need. This one, usually I never use. So basically I can put it back here and show you how I position the flashes. Here we have the controller that comes on the camera and then you can lock it from here so it's locked. Yeah. But first of all don't forget always to put good batteries inside. So here we have the twin flashes now ready to place the magnets on them. So whenever you open your Polaris filter, you will see that inside you have this with two magnets. One is on top of the other. And what you have to do is just to peel down these papers and use this small super glue to glue them on your flashes. 
So that's how the magnet will get Okay, that's how the magnets will get on your filter, on your flash, sorry. And that's how I place them. Okay, that's one. You have to leave it for, for a few minutes just to make sure that they are glued. Again, peeling part. Yeah, and then again, placing the gel. Once, it, once you are done, you place it again on the flash. And now the round one. This is going to be exactly the same. Peeling down, you see you have always two magnets and then you are ready to place the gel. And now all you have to do is to grab it by those clamps here and put it opposite like this and that's all you have to do right now I can use these clamps to attach it and then I can use the flashes on Molaris so I will just open it you can go wider and then here you have these small legs and then you push it down the same way for the other one. Okay, place it on the table so it's more stable. Okay. And once you are ready, you have your camera ready for action. So I hope this tutorial helped you how to, uh, and show you how to assemble this uh, photography kit. For Nikon, for Canon, it's always the same way. All you have to do is just to glue these parts and assemble it this way. Yeah, in order to, and for the Polaris to work correctly, you just have to align them perfectly parallel and this should be the position of the main filter. So, good luck. So here we have our mini soft boxes for the twin flash and this is the last thing you have to do when you want to use them with your Nikon or Mike twin flashes. You need to take one of those soft boxes and cut, make an incision over here and then cut it from left to right, just to make a hole and then you place the leg inside. So basically, theoretically, that's how you have to use and place the twin flash inside the mini soft box, yeah? So this is the tutorial how to use it. It can be tricky a little bit sometimes, especially if you've never done this before. And all you have to do is just to use these attachments. So that's how it should look like when it's on. Just don't forget to make that cut over there. Enjoy.